everyone, welcome to another example of linear programming. All right, let's begin. A plant makes aluminum and copper wire. Each pound of aluminum wire requires five the kWh's kilowatt hours of electricity and one quarter, one fourth of an hour of labor. Each pound of copper wire requires two kilowatt hours of electricity and a half hour of labor. Production of copper wire is restricted by the fact that raw materials are available that the raw material is available uh, to produce at most 60 pounds per day. Electricity is limited to 500 kilowatt hours per day and labor to uh, 40 person hours per day. If the profit from aluminum wire is 25 cents per pound and the profit from copper is 40 cents per pound, how much of each should be produced to maximize profit and what is that maximum profit? Okay, so let's uh, start by identifying our variables. So we're trying to ask how much of each the aluminum and copper should we make. So let's go ahead and let's make um, X to be the amount of aluminum. We're just going to go in the order that they gave them to it first. So it's uh, pounds of aluminum. And Y can be the pounds of copper. I guess we should say copper wire and aluminum wire. Great. <clears throat> All right, so let's kind of key in on some of the important elements in this one. So we've got information throughout this problem about electricity. It takes five kilowatt hours, let me make that bigger, to make the aluminum and two kilowatt hours to make the copper. And we're limited to 500 kilowatt hours in a day. Also, we know that the labor for the aluminum is a quarter uh, of an hour of labor, and electricity is a half hour of labor. But we're restricted to 40 uh, hours of labor in a day. So we kind of piece those pieces together. We're going to be in better shape when we're trying to um, figure this out. Now, there's also like a sneaky extra bit in here about the, ma the materials. We're limited to 60 pounds in a day of the uh, copper wire. So we will also have to keep that in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's actually tackle that copper wire bit first. So if we're limited to um, 60 pounds of copper wire in a day, that must mean that Y must be less than or equal to 60. Great. All right, well, let's look at the kind of electricity component. Five kilowatt hours for the aluminum, so that's 5X, and two kilowatt hours for the copper, so that's 2Y. Well, that must be under uh, 500 kilowatt hours per day, so less than or equal to 500. Then we've got our labor. It's a quarter of an hour for the aluminum and half an hour for the copper. You love fractions, you're welcome. Um, that must be less than or equal to the 40 hours total for the day. So that's our system of equations. And we wanna first start by going ahead and thinking about what are the intercepts for uh, those equations so we know how to make our graph space. So. For our purple equation about labor, if I made x 0, 1 half y is equal to 40, so we'd get 80. And if I made y 0, a quarter is equal to 40, so we'd get 160. Okay, great. Uh, what about for our uh, electricity equation? Well, if x was 0, we would get 250, 500 divided by 2. And if we made uh, y 0, we would get 500 divided by 5 or 100. Great, and then we have our vertical equation in red there. So we have to get uh, out to as much as 250 in the y direction and as much as 160 in the x direction. So let's go down to our axes. We do have, uh, and I'll just number the x-axis real quickly here, and then the y-axis cutting by 10 really on both axes. So. If we graph our uh, y is less than or equal to 60 equation, that's going to be a horizontal line through 60. Saw the line here. I'll try to keep it right along that grid line there. Great. And it must be less than 60, so we are going to be going down below this line. All right. We'll go grab our orange equation. 
our intercepts for this are 0, 250, so 250 way up here at the top of our graph. It's going to make graphing it extra fun. And 100 on our uh, x axis. So can I zoom out? Maybe a little bit. Okay. So we'll try to connect those with a line. Use a ruler, please. It'll make your lines so much better than mine. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Almost made it. All right, and then we'll go ahead and do our purple equation. So we had 0, 80, and 160, 0. And we'll go ahead and connect those. Oops, I guess I should mention that the orange line, it was less than, so we will be shading, uh, again, towards the origin. Purple equation, let's connect these dots here. Almost made it there. Great, and you can again see that zero, zero would be true, so we're gonna be shading towards this way, towards the origin again. All right, so where is our region where we're shading everything? It's gonna be down here. Again, I'm not going below the x-axis or to the left of the y-axis because we can't really have negative amounts of either of these. Uh, in your initial set of linear inequalities, you could definitely have said that x, <laughs> that x is greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0. Both of those definitely must be true. Okay, so we have our feasibility region, our feasible region, and we really need to think about the corner points. So here's a corner point. Here's a corner point. We also have a point here here and there at the origin. So to identify where these points are, um, some of them might be more obvious than others. Um, this point right here, uh, the y-intercept of our one equation is definitely just um, 60 comma, uh, 0 comma 60. So that's a point. Our point down here is definitely 100 comma 0. This green is not cutting it. Uh, let's change to a darker color. 100 comma 0. This point here is not too bad because we know the y value is 60. So we can kind of plug right into our uh, purple equation where it intersects. So in our purple equation, if y is 60, well, half of 60 is 30. Uh, we can subtract that from both sides. and um, that leaves us, let me, that's too much to put in our head. So, one quarter x plus one half times 60 would be equal to 40. Okay, so one quarter x plus 30 equals 40. So, one quarter x is equal to 10. So we multiply both sides by 10, by four, and we get x is 40. So this must be 40 here. Obviously, we have the origin at zero, zero. Now this point here isn't so nice because we can't really readily identify the x or the y-intercept. Uh, there are two slanted lines, so we really need to look at where the purple and the orange line are intersecting. So we can do this by solving the system of equations, pretending that both the purple and the orange line are equal signs. So the orange line, 5x plus 2y equals 500, and the purple line, 1 quarter x plus 1 half y equals 40. Let's solve this system of equations. So there's a number of options we could go with, but I'm going to go ahead and try to eliminate the y's. And so I can do that by multiplying this equation here by negative 4. So that will turn this equation into negative x minus 2y equals negative 160. And I'm going to copy down the other equation to be right underneath it. 5x plus 2y equals 500. Great. So now if we go ahead and add these equations, we'll get 4x equals 340. Divide both sides by 4, and we get x is equal to 85. Great. We can plug that back in. I'm going to plug that into the uh, originally orange equation. So 5 times 85 plus 2y equals 500. 5 times 85, subtract, uh, that is uh, 425 
plus 2y equals 500. Subtract 425 from both sides, 2y equals 75. And we get, by dividing by 2, that y is equal to 37.5. So we can kind of see that this would have been very hard for us to identify this point exactly just by looking at our graph. Solving the system of equations was really necessary to find the ordered pair 85, 85, 37.5. All right, well now we need to consider how we're going to optimize uh, profit in this one. So let's go back up to our problem and think about the profit. So the profit, uh, we have 25 cents per pound from the aluminum and 40 cents per pound from the copper. So profit is equal to 0.25x plus, what is that, 0.4, 0 0.4y. Now, for me, I might go ahead and turn this into fractions here just because I like multiplying by fractions more than I like multiplying by decimals. But now we're going to test our uh, corner points. And realistically, we can probably uh, recognize that 0, 0 is not necessary to be tested. So let's go ahead and test um, 0, 60. And the profit, if we use 0, 60, uh, really we need 2 fifths of 60. So divide 60 by 5, we get 12. Multiply by 2, we get 24. All right, let's also test um, the point uh, 100, comma, 0. So the profit from that one, that's 100 times a quarter is you know, just $25, so that's a little bit better. Uh, we should test uh, the point 40, 30. So the profit from 40, 30 is going to be really $10 plus um, $12 or $22. And lastly, we need to test the point 85, 37.5. So for this one, I'm just going to jump to the end here and tell you that we get $36.25 for that one, which is going to be our maximum. So we really want to make 85 pounds of aluminum wire 37.5 pounds of copper wire, and that'll give us a profit of $36.25. So um, a lot going on here. We had to solve a system of equations to find the point of intersection, which turned out to be the uh, maximum amount of uh, aluminum and copper, the amount of aluminum and copper to maximize our profit. Um, feel free to continue watching the other examples for more help on linear programming problems.